I can hardly wait. I'm telling you, my mouth is drooling. So this is the deal. We're going to do wings on the griddle, crispy wings on the griddle. But before we do that, we are going to impart some massive flavor. We're going to smoke them first. This is kind of like a tailgating slash RVing, camping slash addition. The idea, smoke the wings, impart the flavor, and then fry them crispy. You guys watch this. I have done wings several times, a lot of times. We've smoked them. We've put them all on the griddle. Um, the idea of combining the two is an absolute game changer, right? So the, the, I know we're going to cheat a little bit and smoke it, but you got to bear with me. Tailgating is right around the corner. We're getting tons of requests uh, to come out and all that stuff to cook for parties. And it's like, you know, who wants to take raw chicken to just a standard tailgate? right? You got to have your sanitation. Then you got to know what to do with your stuff. And I was like, as you can see today, it's beautiful. About 65 degrees. We're under the shade. The wind's blowing. My favorite time of the year. I also love smoking. So we're going to smoke the wings till they reach an the internal safe temp about 165. Then we're going to finish them on the griddle. The idea is you guys can do this a few days ahead of time. Then when you go to your, um, your fishing spot, your camping spot, your RVing spot, your uh, tailgating spot you're not dealing with raw chicken okay plus the uh, the oil could be transported extremely easy and uh, just a fun way to do it and i think the combination of the two are probably going to be the best wings i've ever made that's my guess which is saying a lot because you make some dang good wings and i love smoke wings smoke wings is my favorite all right you guys ready yeah. enough talking we're going to trim up our chicken like normal okay cut the tips off save them for stews uh stocks whatever um we are officially done testing our barbecue seasoning. We just have to go in production phase, so we're gonna do a barbecue uh, version. Got a little uh, seasoned salt for a couple of them. Just let that kind of dry brine. And then we got some Texas Pete hot sauce with no hot at all, because that's what my wife wanted. <laughs> Mild's too hot. And we're gonna put a couple of them with a binder of mustard. Fantastic, I'm telling you, let's go. All right, really quick, I'm just gonna show you one so we can knock out these packs. These are the tips I'm talking about. So you just find the joint, kind of open it up a little bit. It's extremely easy. And you just go right in between the joints. Pull it if you can, right there, see that? And then we'll do the same thing. We'll save those for our stocks and then right in the middle, okay? Two packs done, this is the idea. I'm gonna take about 25% just to keep them naked. Um, just to give you another alternative, okay? Not a big deal. Some uh, mustard as a binder. I always add mustard as a binder. This helps the seasoning stick. I think it actually helps the smoke and the char from the, the smokers and stuff stick too. I think it adds a deeper flavor. All right, this is going to get a two-part seasoning, so I'm going to do very light on the seasoned salt. Okay. And then come back in with shake that, salt, pepper, garlic, and butter. Just for more like a neutral. You know, not everybody wants to blaze in hot wings or even like a a buffalo style. So this just gives them like that crispy exterior, okay? We're gonna do a little bit more buffalo because we both enjoy the buffalo just a little bit more. Mustard. All right, just as a base coat, we're gonna add that shake that. You know, you can add your salt, pepper, a little bit of garlic. That's basically what this is. It's an all purpose, good rub. This is going to carry the flavors that we need. It's got a little citrus for the um, for that buffalo sauce. Try to go, if you're going to use the same bowl like I did, kind of like a tip slash trick, try to do your lighter flavors first, right? The flavors that don't really uh, mesh together. That's why I'm doing barbecue last because it's such a strong flavor. I didn't want it to get mixed in, okay? Good tip, honey. Mustard as a binder. And then that barbecue seasoning. Golly, is it good.
none of these seasonings I'm trying to overpower the chicken with, okay? So it might not look seasoned a lot, but remember, these are almost like base coats. A lot of these sauces that you use have a ton of sodium in there already, and they're packed with flavor. So we're just trying to enhance the flavor. It helps draw out the chicken while it's smoking. You get those nice chunks of seasoning that just go a long way. All right, we have our Weber about 250. We got all our charcoal on the left side. So I'm gonna do fat side up on this chicken as much as possible. And it's gonna smoke for about an hour, hour and a half, um, depending on how hot you need it. Just to separate the two, let's put the buffalo in the middle, or I mean the barbecue, rather. The color's gonna be different, so we won't get those uh, mixed up. What kind of wood are you using? Uh, hickory. Not much to it. We'll check it about 30 minutes just to make sure we don't need to rotate anything. But other than that, let her go. All right, we spoke to them for about an hour and 15 minutes. You guys see how nice they are. So this little section down here, we can keep them separate. These are just the naked ones. Whoo, I'm ready. All right, we got an oil hovering about 350, 360 degrees. Uh, we're gonna put the naked ones in there first. Oh yeah. Now, smoking these, since they are going to be hotter than like uh, refrigerated style wings, is also going to benefit the griddle because you don't have to worry about your temperature drop in your oil as much. Season the griddle as you go. You've already got it on. You got that extra splatter coming off the deep fry area. You might as well. Woo! Don't take long. Remember, your chicken should already have been up to temperature. About 165 degrees, 175. And honestly, I cooked it past it because it takes so long to smoke these that um, you know you should be hovering past your internal temperature. So we're going to keep these naked and I'll show you how much temperature drop we got in our oil here. So that's pretty good, 100, 310 degrees somewhere through there. You know, if you were to put that much chicken in there raw, you're going to drop a significant amount and it won't take as long as it heat back up either. All right, first batch is done. So then our oils come back up to temperature. Now we're just going to uh, keep with the idea of keeping like uh, mild items in the fryer. We're going to do those barbecue last. Hmm. Last but not least, our oils come back up to temperature. And now we're going to fry the barbecue ones. Look at the colors that we're talking about when you're able to smoke and fry. No, no dreads at all. Completely naked. This is how I like it. I'm just grabbing some of these naked ones for my kids. They're not that big a fan of sauce. So I'm gonna keep those there. This line around here separates the buffalo. I mean the barbecue versus the uh, buffalo. Just look at what this does. I mean, if that right there is not a thing of beauty, smoke and fried, crispy and charred, the seasoning is still on there. Golly. Mm. Since our wings are still extremely hot, really, we just like to sauce right out of the bottle. And then we're just gonna toss them up.
Well, we've had the luxury of all three neighbors teaming together today and mowing their yard around us. So welcome to the ambiance of a weekend in the fall where everybody decides to mow their yard when I'm cooking. I'd be like, hey, can I mow your yard for like a wing? Mm. <laughs> mm. Let's see. When these first came out, besides the 85 minutes it took to take up one picture, <laughs> They were crispy. <laughs> mm, let me try that one. I'm gonna love. That's a good combination. <laughs> oh dang, that's good. It's good wing. Mmm. Some the flat. You know I try to preach that options are endless. I absolutely like the balance. She is right. Sometimes you don't want your uh, mouth to fall off because it's so spicy. And obviously sometimes people add honey, garlic, chipotle, sriracha, stuff like that to buffalo sauce. But balanced with the barbecue, I kind of like the way it is. I really do. The kids are gonna enjoy the original ones with nothing on them, but you get like the kind of like the, the spicy, even though it says sweet and spicy, it's not, I mean, it's, I think it's very well done. It, it almost just complements the wings the way they are. This two wing combination right here is absolutely fantastic. It would go down to any any tailgate in America would be happy to have this, I can tell you that. I'm gonna go enjoy it for dang sure. Yep. Uh, if you guys are interested, we have a join button down below. It's a membership program. We thank each and every one of you for taking time for doing so. We have plenty of recipes on theflattoptoking.com. Do we have a smoked wing recipe? Not yet. We do have um, chicken wings on the griddle. That's three, right, and we three did three ways. Ones. Asian, uh, Parmesan, garlic, and buffalo. Yep. Uh, we also have other videos available for smoked wings just different ways. Uh, but combining the two of uh, smoked and fried definitely ups the game. Check us out on The Griddle Group on Facebook where we talk about griddles, tailgating, outdoor cooking equipment. The plethora of cooking styles people are coming up with is awesome and I love to see it. Thanks for watching. Don't forget to press that subscribe button, pound the notification button, share it with your friends. Peace. Mm. I can be honest with you, the wing is... God, oh, those are good. Mm-hmm.